layer the size and the orbit of an asteroid. If you combine those two, you get a factor that tells you something about its threat level, right? Yeah, so combining the impact risk and the size gives you a score on this Torino rating system that reflects basically how bad it'll be if it hits us. This asteroid, 2024 YR4, is currently rated a 3. If it turns out to be above 50 meters across and has a higher than 1% chance of impact, which right now it's looking like, yes, then there will have to be some discussions and a decision about a mission to deflect it. And what about nuking it? Um, Leia, because you know, <laughs> just no, well, casual, is, casual nuking. <laughs> well, uh, it's a thing that people have talked about. If you can't nudge it, you could nuke it. Maybe there's not time to design the spacecraft to nudge it, and you, you might have to get together with China and Russia and say, "Hey, let's send some nukes up." Yeah, that sounds politically plausible. (laughs) (laughs) So there's a lot of misunderstanding around nuking it, actually, because if you actually just send a nuke at it and blow it up, all of that stuff is still coming straight towards us. So when you talk about nuking an asteroid, what you're actually doing is blowing up a bunch of nukes next to it and still trying to nudge it off course without smashing it into bits because then they just rains down that now nuclear irradiated bits of rock on us as well right yeah and it's much less predictable than one big thing 